Hi, I'm Arthur Brito, landscape designer from Arborealis. I'm here with my good friend Robert, and we are sitting in our recently completed project here in Alameda, California. I'm Robert Cruikshank, landscape contractor, and I had the pleasure of working with Arthur and implementing his design and working with the clients to give them a wonderful garden that they can enjoy for many, many years. After meeting with the client out on site and seeing what's working for them, what's not, and talking about some of their ideas and the possibilities for the space, I went back out to the site, took measurements, and I brought those measurements back here to my studio, and I started drawing up their existing plans. Their home, of course, is a Victorian. This door here is their rear exit from their kitchen area, taking you out onto this uh, red bordered area here, which is a only four foot deep deck space or rear porch. Um, the client expressed to me that they wanted that space to feel bigger. They, wa they wanted it to actually be large enough where they can have maybe a small bistro set, just the two of them, enough space to sit out there in that space. These stairs run perpendicular to the rear of the house and cut their backyard or this portion of the backyard, cut it in half and making it somewhat unusable or at least broken up. After reviewing the client's wish list for the space, I've come up with two conceptual designs. And this is very often a very exciting point in the design process for the clients because they've been living with the space for so long and only seeing problems, and now they get to see the possibilities. This is the first design I came up with, and in this red outlined area is the new deck layout, and the dimension has been expanded to eight feet deep, so essentially doubling the square footage they had before. So now they definitely have enough space for that table and chairs. This also reorients the stairs down from that deck to the landscape by running it parallel to the rear face of the house. And that drops you down onto this patio here, which is then bordered by this lawn area and in these surrounding areas would be new plants. This is the second design I came up with. Again, for the new deck, going with an expanded dimension at eight feet, this also reorients the existing stairs, again, running them parallel to the rear face of the house, but we do push them off to the side and that takes you down to the new landscape. This has a larger lawn space than the previous design, and it also reorients the ground level patio off to the north. The client selected the second concept, and now that we have the footprint of the design figured out, we can move on to the construction drawings. Upon completion of the construction drawings, I then present those plans to the homeowner. They have selected Robert Cruikshank to do the construction on my recommendation, and then all of us sit down to review the plans and discuss implementation of the design. Okay. Now we are beginning the demolition phase of the project. This is where we use a variety of equipment, including large equipment, hand equipment, anything that we need to make sure we create a clean slate from which we can start implementing the design. Now we are at the construction phase of the project. This is where we begin to put the pieces of the design into place on the site. We've made progress in the project here. We've got the irrigation valves here. This is going to provide water for the plantings that are going in. We've uh, set up some uh, footings for the deck. Uh, we've got some gravel and sand here for the paver patio, which will be going in in a bit. And in, we're, we're in the middle of doing the deck framing here. Stringers will come down here. There'll be a landing and then uh, stairs down to the, the lawn area. At this time, the deck has been installed. We have just finished installing the flagstone stepping stone walkway which takes you over to the new paver patio. One of the last stages of the construction process is the installation of the plants. The planting design was based on the client's need for a lush, yet still low maintenance planting scheme. Well, as you can see, the end result was this wonderful garden that our clients are really, really happy with and will be able to enjoy for many years to come. So, 
If you would like me to help you make your landscape dreams come true, please contact me, Robert Cruikshank, through my website. Arthur? It was a pleasure working on this project with Robert and his crew, both for their craftsmanship and their attention to detail. And of course, it was a pleasure working with the clients who are looking for an exciting project that is both beautiful and engaging. So if you are looking for something like this or some of the other projects uh, that you see on my online portfolio, please feel free to contact me and we can set up our first appointment.